Hello everyone, this is Mr. Edmund So. Today I would like to talk the HKTSC sample paper Mathematics Compulsory, Paper 1, Session A2, Questions 11. Please read this message as this is the foundation of the whole series of this video. If you don't have enough time, please pause the video now. Otherwise, stick with me. So for question 11, it is talking about variations. And as we know, the cross is calculated by two parts. It is partial variation. So I set the formula like this. In here, I would like to use half pot to illustrate a little bit of partial variation. If we have half pot, let's say we have two person, and uh, the soup is fifty dollar each, and beef is twenty dollar each per dish. Or should I say, uh, let's say I have one soup and two beef, then uh, the bill is fifty plus two times twenty. Because part of the bill is calculated by the soup, and the other part of bill is calculated by beef, so this is partial variation. Now, if we have ten people to have half pot, I can't see the point that ten people to share one pot is enough. So we have to order two soup, and then let's say each person have a dish of beef, then we have to order ten beef. So the bill can be calculated by two parts. The first part is uh, 50 times 2 because we ordered two soup, uh, so we need to pay 100 for it. And the second part is the beef because we ordered uh, 10 dishes. So uh, 20 times 10 is 200. And now the bill is 300. 100 plus 200 equal 300. And this is the example that I love to uh, illustrate, partial variation. As we can see in the question, we have two sets of corresponding values. So we uh, substitute these two, step, uh, two sets of corresponding values in order to find k1 and k2. Because I know that I'm going to do a simultaneous equation, two sets of value will generate two equations. So I will make uh, k1 to be the subject of the first equations. And then I do the, another term of substitution. I have equations two. And by simple substitution, I will have k2 equals 24, substitute back into uh, equation 1, I will have k1 equal 130. And now I can set up the equation which can help us to calculate the cross. When the parameter s equals 6, we have to cross c equals $1,644. Remember uh, the unit. Now we turn our attentions to 11b. 11b is rather simple because as far as we have the function in here, we have uh, two variables. And now we set c equal 539. So we have a quadratic equations here. I have no doubt that you can solve this quadratic equation. Um, with the solution, we have s equals 2.75 or s equals minus 49 over 6. As far as we know, um, the parameter cannot be a negative number, so we reject uh, the second solutions. At the end, 
Please remember to conclude your question for FV application problem. Otherwise, you may take a risk of losing mark on poor presentation. This is the end of this video. If you have any problem, please send it to me by email and I will do the solution for you if I have time. So uh, have a nice day everyone. Goodbye.